everybody, and welcome to another Dak Band Productions review. Uh, today we'll be reviewing the brand new MTH TTX gondola car with coiled wire mood. Uh, I just bought these yesterday. Uh, they come in two different road numbers, and uh, we'll be taking a closer look at them. So this is the uh, MTH Premier. Uh, gondola car premier being in the purple box uh, which are scale size cars meaning they're true 148 scale uh, the premier usually has more detail than rail king for example and a lot of the rail king stuff is also semi scale uh, the rail king version of freight cars are also cheaper uh, than the premier versions so I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that as we move on. Um, these gondola cars uh, in the TTX road name, this is not the first time the MTH Premier has done them. They had done another version of the TTX uh, without the Railgon logo. Um, and those were pretty nice. So uh, these are pretty much repaints of uh, the older... MTH gondolas and uh, these are real nice to have if you're putting together a, a modern day train because uh, of the reflective tape that's on a of course you can always take your trains and, and apply your own reflective tape but these actually come from the, the factory so uh, any trains within I think maybe about 15 years ago they had to have reflective tape on the side of the rail cars so the coil load that's in these uh, makes these cars very heavy, and uh, they are simulated wire loads. They're not actually spools of wire, they're just simulated into a casting, which does make these cars very heavy, um, because they are in a casting, pretty much like the, the uh, MTH uh, scrap load. Um, so you can see it is a casting. They're not actually spools of wire. So they just simulated to look like uh, wire. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And like I said, because of that, it makes them heavy. You can always take the casting out like I just did to lighten up the train and put something else in there. But it would make these uh, train cars way too expensive if they actually had real spools of wire in them um, but it's it does look pretty realistic from the top and as you can see MTH uses a, a plastic lining so the inside of the car doesn't get scratched um, you can remove it when you go to use it if you like uh, if not then you can leave it in and it'll prevent the car from being scratched inside Now, you could probably uh, paint these because spools of wire aren't actually silver like this that I have seen anyway. Um, unless it's, uh, you know, they're actually simulating like uh, tubing or something. But if they're actually, uh, but the box says coiled wire load. So coiled wires would actually be like, would have a coating on like. Uh, black or they would be red or green they would have a, they would be insulated so the elements would get to them but you could probably take paint and actually paint these yourself if you wanted to actually simulate uh, true quilled wires you know paint them black or paint them uh, red or green I don't ever remember seeing them in a gray color but who knows uh, there might be some out there on YouTube one of you YouTube viewers could comment on that yeah, if you would like. I would like to hear from you of what you think about this, but I think it would um, I think it would look better if they were painted and like uh, real wire cables are, because some cables come with you know black coating, green and red and yellow, and the color codes mean different things. Uh, like if you were to go in a house and you see Romax cable and it's yellow, then you know it's a 16 gauge or 12 gauge, I believe. So the 
the color kids do mean uh, something for um, buyers. So let's take a look at the uh, the, the, the close-up detailing of these cars. Uh, I've been trying to collect uh, more modern stuff uh, because I do want to run trains that you normally would see every day. And um, you know, this is an older TTX paint scheme, I believe. So these would probably look better weathered and a little beaten up. Uh, let's take a closer look at your uh, details. So it has the load limits and the, the proper GNTX that is correct for uh, Railgun TTX cars. And for those who don't don't know, uh, Railbox and Railgun uh, recently, within the last five years, I believe, have all been um, obtained by TTX. And so now the cars are starting to have the TTX logos come up and uh, along with the Railgun name. And I believe on the Railbox cars, the name Railbox actually has disappeared, and now they just say TTX on them. So a little bit of uh, a little bit of history there. And that NSG20, that's the type of Railgun. Um, these look to be about 50 scale foot long. I could be wrong. Maybe a little bit longer, 52 feet. Which is about a uh, typical length of a early uh, gondola car. And like I said, you're in two different road numbers. So if you like having uh, the same road name and multiple road numbers, they did take care of you that way. The only thing, one of the things that I was really disappointed in is that MTH used die cast trucks that do not feature rotating wheel bearing caps. Uh, for a premier freight car, uh, that's very disappointing, especially at the cost point. That, uh, you know, I really expected these to have rotating wheel bearing caps, but they don't. As you can see, so for those who aren't familiar, um, the center cap is supposed to rotate if it has rotating uh, wheel bearing caps. So I'm going to show you on this other freight car here what I'm talking about. Here we have uh, a Reading PS2 covered hopper and this does feature rotating wheel bearing caps. And if you notice, see see it's turning. So this center section right there actually rotates. Just like a real freight car. So a lot of your high end scale cars feature rotating wheel bearing caps. Which is what I would have expected on the MTH gondola, but it doesn't. So that is a uh, a little disappointment to me, being as how a scale car doesn't have that kind of a detail um, on it. So we'll take a look at the undercarriage, and um, they're typical diecast uh, MTH uh, trucks. They feature uh, nice simulated airlines on there. Uh, they don't have a, a thumbtack coupler like a couple other name brands do. Uh, metal wheels, uh, simulated, or actually real springs in there. They're not simulated, they're actually real. And then the undercarriage, which has uh, quite a bit of detail, I think, for uh, for a gondola car. I mean, you got your air tanks, you got your brake that, and your brake lines, and 
So you have quite a bit of detail there. So these MTH gondola coils, like I said, have been out for a while. They come out and they, they redo different road names. And I wanted to show off the uh, TTX version road name. Um, and I think it's a nice addition for the cool wire, but I also think they could uh, benefit from being painted to represent a true cool wire that would have uh, an insulated uh, outer coating on them. Uh, the price point on these is uh, MSRP at $70. Actually, sixty nine ninety five as per MTH. Depending on the dealer or hobby shop you go to, they range anywhere from sixty. Well, actually, I've seen them as low as fifty eight nine ninety five to uh, sixty two dollars. But uh, I felt as though they were still worth it. Um. I, once again, for a Premier car, I would have thought they would have had rotating wheel bearing caps. Um, but, I can live with that. That's fine. Uh, they're still a nice car. I still like them. And so, that's your review on the uh, brand new MTH TTX gondola cars with the coil wires. And I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. And thanks for watching. Bye.